Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to be covering the update as of today which is going to be 0.4.29 which goes ahead and introduces jet engines into advanced mode something that a lot of the community have been requesting for quite a while now. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go through all the new components that are added uh, along with that we'll also talk about one other feature that has been added to all the engines itself and then lastly we'll actually just jump into the jet that is provided in game in advanced mode by the the devs themselves and we'll fly that around and actually just have a look at the engine itself and see how it works. So with that all said, we'll go ahead and get started. So we've just come back into our workbench here where we have the example loaded up from the devs themselves. Um, now first thing I'm going to talk about is the first feature that they've changed or they've added into the game today. Um, the first is going to be that for all the engines, um, the existing ones we had, the aircraft engine, the diesel engine and the normal small engine, they've gone ahead and added a um, option in the properties panel of the engine itself which is going to be now a RPS limiter. Um, so if you go into the engines, if you go obviously to go to select, select the engines themselves, you can now see they have an RPS limiter. Now that value is going to be anywhere from 5 up to 100. Um, pretty much what's going to happen is if you give it 100% throttle and that RPS goes over the 100 value, your throttle will not, will not, um, it's the engine's going to ignore your throttle, in other words. So no power is, no power is going to happen. So for example, if your throttle is at 20% and you've already hit that 100% cap, your engine is not going to get any more rotations per second after that. So if you go 30%, 40%, 50%, it's not going to change. It's going to be consistently the same RPS. So with that done, that's the first thing they've gone ahead and changed. And then obviously, as I said earlier, they've gone ahead and actually added the jet engines themselves in. So we've got a whole new tab at the bottom of the inventory screen here. Uh, I'm going to start with the first one and then make our way down. Uh, first off, we have the combustion chamber themselves. We next move on to the compressor. We then have a few different types of actual uh, duct, pi duct piping, as you would say. Um, so this will be to connect the one side of the engine to the other side and actually run your exhaust um, wherever you want to in your creation itself. So there's different types. You obviously have like a, a T-pipe section. Uh, there's an angled piece. There's diagonal piece. There's a straight piece. There's a uh, the T-pipe. Sorry, as I said, yeah, this was a cross. The next thing we have is going to be our different types of exhaust. So this is actually what's going to be giving the propulsion out of the engine itself. So we have the um, exhaust afterburner. This is where we can add fuel to it. Uh, it's going to go and increase the um, <clears throat> The, th um, the throttle, as you would call it, or the RPS that comes out of the engine. Uh, we also have the basic exhaust. We then have the rotating exhaust. So, for example, like Hario Jump Jet, uh, that's quite useful. It obviously, you can rotate it to get your, your power to go in a different direction. Uh, then we have the actual turbines itself. There's one. Tur there's actually two turbines. There's a small one and there's a medium one. The medium one itself, the only difference that I've found so far, and I could be wrong, um, is that it actually has a power output to it. So you can actually um, add it, or you can add like obviously your propellers or your uh, rotors from your helicopters and things like that. So you don't actually have to have the power going out of the back of the exhaust engine itself. You can actually take that power away from the turbine and you just control something else at the end of the day. Uh, and then lastly, you just have the intakes themselves um, so you have a, a large one and you also have a small one uh, at the moment I haven't I don't quite know what the use of the large one is um, but obviously the small one will go ahead and fit on top of our different our different components uh, so we'll go here quickly we'll just have a look at the engine they provided in game uh, now as you can see here so let's get rid of that so first off we actually have the the ducket or the fan itself um, that they've gone ahead and added on there the next component is going to be here, which is the compressor, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's the compressor. Then the next part that is the part of the engine itself is going to be the duct system that goes through actual throughout the jet itself. It then goes into the next piece. Now that next piece is just over here. I'm just going to delete a couple of blocks here so we can actually see the internals of the engine itself. So the next piece here is going to be, uh, let's have a look. So the next part is the combustion chamber. Uh, combustion chamber is where you obviously add your fuel into the system. Uh, let's go put one down here, and you can see that this is where our fuel comes in. From there on forth, you actually then have the turbine itself. Uh, so for this tutorial, or well, for this example, they've just used a small one. Uh, the turbine itself, and then lastly, we've they've gone ahead and they've actually added a. Um, 
an afterburner to the end of it. Uh, if that afterburner is connected with fuel, let's have a look. Yeah, they have connected it with fuel. Uh, so that just provides extra fuel. And then obviously you can go ahead and look at the settings of all these. Each one of them have quite a few different settings. Uh, most of them have air pressure and temperature. Uh, along with that, they also have the um, RPS on each one of them. You have the throttle, which is the actual engine itself. Uh, and then you have the combustion which has the on and off on it. Uh, the, so that's pretty much all to say about the engine themselves. Uh, one thing also they have added now, obviously with jet engines, they've gone ahead and actually added jet fuel. Um, so our fuel tank or our tanks now have water, diesel, or jet fuel. Avgas is no longer, it's completely gone away. Uh, so with that all said, what we'll do is we'll actually spawn this in quickly and have a look at the example that they've provided uh, and see how it looks. Should be quite interesting. Um, I have played around a little bit with it just to obviously test, um, but it is pretty cool. So we'll go here. Um, what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and actually, oh, now I'm going to lower the throttle, uh, close the canopy. I'm going to go ahead and turn the actual engine on. So you can see here it should start going up. And then we'll start giving a little bit of throttle. And there we go. So we've got a little bit of throttle now. Um, we can actually start just moving the throttle a slightly bit forward and then see if we can start going forward. We should, in theory, start going forward a little bit. Hmm. A little bit more throttle, a little bit more throttle, a little bit more throttle. There we go. Uh, so we're now starting this. Ooh, that's way too fast. Uh, see if I can turn here. Uh, okay, not that successful, first attempt. Uh, so I'm what I'm. <laughs> I'm just gonna give a full throttle. Oh, and see what happens. Okay, so we're up. Uh, we're up in the air and we're flying now. Oh, and instantly turned into. I don't know if it's if if the engines are on fire or if that's meant to happen. Uh, but I, I have a feeling that that's not meant to happen. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the landing off. I'm gonna turn the afterburners on. And see what difference that makes. Uh. Fuel's going down, RPS is going down. I think that's because our engines are actually on throttle. I'm just going to, I mean, on fire. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down a bit. And then we'll probably end up by landing in the water for emergency landing. I'm going to have to do a lot of testing and see how to get these to actually work a bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, just a quick coverage of obviously the new update today. I uh, will be going ahead and doing another video on a how to build the actual jet engine itself, uh, a full tutorial step by step and pretty much explaining everything. Uh, just need a little bit of time to obviously learn everything and figure it out. But with that said, we'll go ahead and end the video there. As always, guys, I hope you found it um, somewhat informative and useful and entertaining. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.